Humor and sales copy, yes or no? A debate has been burning up the bits and bytes on one of the popular marketing forums. The topic of heated discussion, whether or not to include humor in sales copy Some of the members argue that humor can be a disarming and refreshing alternative to the caveman approach to copywriting i.e., bludgeoning the reader into shock and submission with forceful declarations and exclamation points, drop the hard sell and take a more friendly and convivial approach, they say. Be sociable, be charming, be funny, make sense. In this declining economy, in this embarrassing political environment who doesn't need a good laugh, others go further. Sales copy must have personality. And right they are, too, but me thinks they may confuse personality with humor. Having a personality doesn't automatically equate with being funny David Ogilvy, John Caples, Claude Hopkins, all had distinctive, no-nonsense cut to the quick personalities and imbued their sales copy with plenty of the same to great remunerative effect, yet I don't think anyone could accuse them, or their copy, of being funny then comes this refrain, sales letters all sound the same these days. Hackneyed. Then they cite letters that lead with an over-the-top benefit, an unbelievable offer, or a rags-to-riches, failure-to-hero story, and the point they're making is valid. The question you then have to answer is this, is adding humor necessary to close the sale, as any copywriter worthy of a keystroke knows, in a sales letter you should only include what is absolutely essential to make the sale dot or, as more commonly phrased, a sales letter should only be as long as it needs to be in order to get the reader to say, yes, I'll buy. Which reminds me of a story about Abraham Lincoln. For a rather long stretch of time during the Civil War, his chief of the army, General McClellan, had chosen not to engage the enemy in battle. So, President Lincoln wrote the good general a short, polite letter, My dear McClellan, if you don't want to use the army, I should like to borrow it for a while yours respectfully, A. Eh? Most of the time, well then, if your readers know you, love you and expect you to be funny, or at least come close, by not including a bit of humor in your pitches, you'll distract them from your marketing message as they begin to wonder why you've switched gears and become so serious, boring. In other words, if humor is part of your copywriting or marketing persona, don't change it without fair warning and good reason, but, if you're writing to a cold list, one who doesn't know you, doesn't care about you, and basically finds your sales letter an intrusion, robbing them of their precious, irreplaceable time. Then I think cracking a joke at the beginning, or in the middle, or at the end of your sales letter, or whenever you ask them to send you money is not something I would recommend, which brings me to my last point. If you think separating someone from his or her hard-earned money can be funny, look no further than your next credit card bill for the answer. Does reading your statement put you in stitches, no? Well, how about if they inserted a truly funny bit of humor next to the line that reads, minimum balance due, would you be rolling in the aisles and eager to pay your bill then? Didn't think so.